Hi there. Yes, I'm always getting these tough assignments, right? But the Antlers Lodge has been here for over 20 years and they have a new fall menu out and it's been developed by Giovanni Silva, Chef de Cuisine, who joins me now. Hello. Thanks for having us. Uh, thank you for coming and visit. Uh... Everything looks amazing. So we'll start off on this side with this beautiful charcuterie. Our Mike Osterhage loves charcuterie, but this one is a little different. Let's talk about what you have here. Well, we have uh, our wild game charcuterie board. We have some elk and wild board uh, salami, some sopressata, some bison uh, salami as well, uh, some fruits, uh, house-made uh, peach preserve, uh, local cheeses. Uh, dry fruits, uh, it's a little bit of everything for everybody. And you said this is one of the favorites, and I've never had bison salami, so I'm gonna give that a try while we move on to the salad over there. Okay, so that's our uh, mm -hmm. uh, three-way beet uh, salad. It has roasted pickle and uh, raw beets. It has uh, local uh, goat cheese mousse, and some uh, uh, sunflower sprouts, and some uh, pepita perito as well. And the ingredients, we talked earlier about how they're sourced locally, and is that pretty much the concept here exactly. at the Antlers Lodge? Tell me more about that. Well, here at Antlers Lodge, uh, we like to honor the location of the property uh, from the restaurant and the resort as well. Uh, and uh, we like to honor it, uh, you know, sourcing uh, artisanal, artisanal uh, products, uh, mm -hmm. cheeses, uh, everything as local as possible. I love uh, that. And we specialize, specialize in uh, wild game and, uh, and uh, steaks. Wild game, that's why you heard the bison salami, exactly. but our next one has um, elk in it, right? Yeah, that's right, that's our elk uh, carpaccio. It has uh, pickled blueberries, uh, egg yolk gel, and uh, local sorrel. Uh, with all uh, toast. And I have my own little plate here that I'm gonna give this a try. Again, this is a, for those who are not familiar with this dish, this is a cold dish, correct? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, very good. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And then that meatball's calling my name too. Look at that, that's beautiful. That's our uh, bison meatball. It, it has our house-made uh, spicy marinara uh, sauce, uh, parm freshly grated parmesan and uh, toast as well. Uh, it has a little bit of sorrel, uh, just to give it a little, uh, some color. It has a touch of sage and, uh, you know, just deliciousness all around. It looks so good. You said that's one of your favorites too, yeah, right? Yeah, that's that one of meatball. my favorites. And then look at that. Look at those mashed potatoes. And mm. that it's our uh, mole braised short ribs. Mm. It, it comes uh, with a Yukon, Yukon potato uh, mash, uh, the short rib itself some uh, pea tendrils, fermented peppers, and roasted carrots, along with a uh, mole sauce. It looks beautiful. And last but not least, another favorite. Yeah, this is uh, one of our best sellers. It's our bone in ribeye. It's about 16 ounces, uh, garnished with some uh, pea tendrils and uh, shishito peppers. Oh, and one more. I forgot about this guy right here. <laughs> yep, same. Uh, it's our uh, eight ounce uh, filet mignon. Oh, uh, the, I mean, this is the best meat that you can find around. Again, so locally sourced, locally sourced yes. here right on the golf course at the Hyatt Hill Country Resort. And you've worked at several places around the world too. Where's a few other places that you've been? I work at La Docena in Mexico, uh, La Huella in Uruguay, uh, the Libriche in uh, Netherlands, and currently uh, Antlers Lodge. Here for seven years. So you're going to get some delicious food, Chef. This is great. I'm going to try some more things. Be sure to schedule a reservation because they open at 530 um, and that is Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday yes. So I'm going to dive in here and try something else. Thank you. We have cocktails, I think, coming up a little bit uh, later. Of course. Oh, cheers.